all I do is think about my child and what happened. Rose Palmer says it's been torture since April 9th, 2018. Everett Palmer Jr. was on his way from Delaware to Queens to visit family. He stopped off in York, Pennsylvania to take care of an outstanding warrant having to do with the DUI. Two days later, his family is told he died in police custody. And now, more than a year later, they still don't know how or why he died. The information that we are receiving in a very piecemeal style tells us that Everett Palmer was tased. It tells us that Everett Palmer was restrained. I think he was murdered. That's what I think. The 41-year-old Army veteran died after an incident, quote, following an excited state and that he hit his head on the cell door and was restrained. His body was returned to his family but missing the heart, throat, and brain. It's not unusual for organs to be removed and held after autopsies. However, the family has sought to get samples of the organs so their own pathologist can do testing but has gotten pushback. Uh, an in-custody death. Um, demands a certain level of transparency uh, that has been lacking on behalf of York County. Methamphetamine toxicity was also cited in the ME's report, but the Palmer say no drugs were on him and he never used meth. The coroner has ruled out death from natural causes and suicide, but the cause of death remains inconclusive. The Palmers are now also seeking any video of Everett while he was in custody. Until they have answers, loved ones say they will have no peace, clinging to their memories of a veteran paratrooper, a son, a brother, and a dad of two boys. We referred to him in the past as a gentle giant, that's what he was. And my son was a good young man, kind-hearted, loved everyone, and he did no one deserves this. York County officials have said they cannot comment because this is an ongoing...